Hi and welcome to Mahika Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the internal architecture of JVM. We know that one of the job performed by JVM is loading the class. So this class loader is the component which is responsible for loading program elements into different memory locations. These are the different memory areas which are allocated by JVM. The very first area that we are going to discuss is class area. This class area is common for all the threads created by JVM and it stores per class structures such as field and method data, runtime constant pool, code for methods and constructors. The second area which is allocated by JVM is heap. Heap is the place where objects get memory that is when objects are created they are stored in heap area. Then third area used is stack. Now this stack is used to store local variables and it is very important in method invocation. There is one stack per thread created by JVM. And next area is PC register. This PC register stores the address of currently executing instruction and again there will be different PC register for every thread invoked by JVM and then we have native method stack. This stack is used for native methods if there are any in our code. Native methods are the methods which are given in any other language rather than Java and the, these are the native libraries which may be used by the native methods and this is the interface between the execution engine and Java native libraries. So this is how allocation of memory takes place for our code with the help of class loader. So these are different memory areas which will be used by JVM. And this is the execution engine which executes the code which resides in the memory. Thank you for watching this tutorial. In next tutorial, we will see what are Java keywords and what are the rules for creating identifiers in Java and there are some conventions which should be followed while naming identifiers. So those things will be discussed in next tutorial. Thank you.